Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I just want to share a video with you today and it's a small combined haul um, from a charity shop, a fabric shop, eBay and a couple of flowers I want to share with you. So, okay. I'm just going to get straight into it. All I got in the charity shop was these two frames and um, they're exactly the same but one's small one's large and they've got cherubs on and it's like a scroll and I absolutely fell in love with these and I paid £3 for the big one and £2 for the small one so these are to put on display in my room because around my room I have lots of picture frames and um, I just put pictures of the, the children and grandchildren in them so that's what those are for so I was really happy with those I absolutely love them um, I went to my local fabric shop and as soon as I walked in he said to me oh we have some new laces and I thought oh no <laughs> so I bought a few um, with the mind of tea dyeing them so I bought a few small, I only bought one metre of each. Uh, so I got this one with the scallops, which is really cute. And it's lovely and white, but I am going to tea dye it. And these were 75 pence for these three here. This one is like a, a an off-white. That's cute. And I am going to tea dye all these. And this one is like a, a crochet look. Um, and I'm I'm actually working from home today, so I'm going to put these in some to tea dye while I'm working. Um, I'm just really observing my emails. I'm not actually doing much more than that. I'm just looking after things from home rather than in the office. I also got this one, which I love. I think this one was one fifty for that one. And this this one, which is like miniature flower trim. This one was a pound. Uh, this one was 150 which is like a, a looped um, trim. And this one was one, I think this one was 175 but it is beautiful, really beautiful. But I am going to tea dye it. <laughs> um, that's why I just bought well, they can work out quite expensive buying them from the fabric shop, so I just always just buy a metre of each. But I, I, when I picked them, I thought I'm going to tea dye these. So um, at some point, I will show you them once they're tea dyed. Um, I did buy one that was quite a bit more expensive. This was four pound. This one, and it is like a a bridal trim. But because it hasn't got like beads and sequins on it, I can cut it up into the individual flowers without any problems at all worrying about the beads or sequins coming off. I do normally, if they're beaded or that, I do pop a little bit of glue on the back before I cut them so that the beads and that don't fall off. But I thought mm, £4 for a metre, I didn't think that was too bad because. I can cut this into lots of flowers, appliques. So I've got that. I'm just going to set them to the side. And I did buy this fabric, which was a little bit more expensive. <laughs> um, he normally sells this for £15 a metre, but he gave it to me for £12. Um, and it is gorgeous absolutely beautiful so that's the edge of it with the scallop and then it is this beautiful print and I am going to tea dye a section of this I'll probably do a quarter of it I'll cut a quarter and and tea dye it and see how it takes um, so that was from the fabric shop so I will pop them in tea in a minute. 
Um, I was on eBay and I found a local seller who was selling some seam binding and I just loved the colours. Absolutely love these colours. Um, so there's this really, really pale green and this is called Cucumber. This one's called Sea Moss, which is slightly darker green. We have a rose pink, which is beautiful. Um, I can't read the writing on this one. Something Kiss. Something Kiss this is called, which is a very slight creamy peach. Very slight. Uh, this one is... Oh, I can't read that one either. Rose... Rose something. So that's rose pink. This is rose... I can't read the writing on it. Sorry. It's a slighter... Look at the difference. But they are gorgeous. And the last one, this one is cappuccino which is, they are just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And there's not um, many sellers in the UK that do this, so um, I absolutely love the colours that she had. She had a whole lot more, but these were the ones that I really liked on the, the pictures. Um, and she did combine the postage as well, so yeah. I got those which I was really happy with. Love them. And I found this fabric on eBay as well and it is a vintage fabric and it's it's like a it's a real sort of beigey dead I don't want to say dirty beige but uh, you'll kind of know what I mean if you look at it next to this you'll see that it's it's a it's, it's kind of like a dirty beige colour. Sorry, that's my emails coming through. Um, and it's like uh, ruffled and it has a few tiny clear sequins in the ruffles. But I thought this would be really, really pretty to make some flowers with. You know, you could cut it in the old background because of the different textures. But I'm also going to tea dye a little section of this, I think, to see how the colour changes. Um, but I just love it. I love the the movement in it. So at some point I will try and make some flowers with this, I think. So that's that. And then I just want to share a couple of flowers. I did put them up on my Facebook. Um, just a couple of flowers I made with some tea dyed lace. So that's the first one. And that's the second one. Now somebody did, well two people on Facebook did ask me to do a tutorial but these are just literally made with lace with a running stitch and then pulled to gather it. And so the, this this one is just a, a flat lace. If I show you it, I think I've got it here. So this bottom layer is just this flat lace with a running stitch, and then pulled to gather it. That's all it is. Uh, the next layer is a crochet type lace which has already got a slight gather in it so I just um, glued that onto a little circle and gathered it as I went so that's the second layer in there this fluffy layer is actually a box plate lace and all I did was fold it in half and then put a running stitch so I folded it in half that way, down the centre, and then just put a running stitch and gathered it. And then you get quite a fluffy 
So if you've got any of the box plate, either single or double like this one, all I did was fold it in half and a run and stitch. And then two small doilies in the centre and a pearl button for that one. Sorry. Okay. This bottom layer on this one is actually a doily that was damaged and it's the edging of the doily here and I've just uh, popped that onto a little circle fabric like that to get the bottom layer and you, I can show you where this is damaged it's got quite heavy staining on it so I'm going to use it in sections little bits here and there the next layer is this lace again tea dyed and again just a run and stitch and it and then gather it to get the next layer and then that same lace next and then just some doilies folded which are these ones just these are tea dyed these were white and blue and this is how it came out and these are just folded and um, layered. I think I used four and then another one across there and then a small flower and a, a pearl button. So really they're just made up with lace with a running stitch and then gathered and that's that's how I made them. Um, you know it's it's not anything new. <laughs> Lots of people do it with um, their laces. They just put a run and stitch through them, gather them, and um, layer them up. That's all it is. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the colours on these. I love the different variety of colours from the tea dyeing. So it's worth playing around with your laces and putting a running stitch and, and gathering them. So that's those. So that's that's my um, combined haul and my flowers. And hopefully I'll be back soon with another project. Bye for now.